another installment of Five Minute Tones. On today's video, I'm on the latest public beta for the Axe FX3, and I've got the updated Axe Edit. I just want to show you how I would dial in some Dynacabs on a particular preset, and I want to show you a very cool little trick that I think a lot of people will find useful for using the Align Control to just kind of get a smoother overall sound out of your cab block. Another thing is I wanted to dial in a quick little JVM preset. This one is based around OD2 Orange. The real amps, much like the model, have an insane amount of gain on the red modes. I find even on the orange mode, keeping the gain below four works pretty well. Also lowering the master volume to around two helps out a lot. You can see the settings on there. I've paired it up with good old LTTV Mix 7 and a bit of London Plate Reverb. Let's just have a listen to what it sounds like. There's no boost or anything on here at the moment. <laughs> That is absolute filth. It's even better if you go to the preamp tab and say, put on the shred boost. <laughs> Pretty fun, so much gain. Again, not really a classic martial tone, but the JVMs to me very much have their own voice and playing the real amp really helped me understand these models. So let's move over to the cab block. I'm currently using this legacy version, which just means you load an IR up in it. Let's go to channel A on the cab because I've got the 4x12 Recto Straight Dynacab loaded up in the preamp tab. I've just got a low cut at 80 Hertz. The high cut I've got basically as high as it will go, so shouldn't really be doing anything. Let's just have a listen to what this 4x12 recto straight with a dynamic mic sounds like. And then I can just kind of move this little dot around which indicates the virtual mic position. <laughs> Okay, a classic thing to do is combine a dynamic and a ribbon mic. So in the second cab slot, I've got a ribbon mic on the same cab. I'm just gonna leave it where it is and I'll let you hear the difference just by blending this in. <laughs> everything up it provides the low end that the dynamic is not really giving you and in contrast the dynamic is adding some nice high end sizzle that the ribbon isn't giving us taking that next level is just going to the align tab and basically just playing around with the phase of the microphones i'll let you hear this at zero so they're totally phase aligned i'm just going to go to one millimeter on here and we'll have a listen to what that does so when i hit enter it's just going to like move the virtual mics slightly out of phase with one another and have a listen out to how it smooths out the top end. <laughs> Even really small values are going to give you that effect. And again, in the preamp, there is no high cut in here. So this is a different approach to getting a kind of smoother, less harsh high end in your presets in the cab block and kind of utilizing a technique that most people would use with real microphones to get a desirable mic'd up cab sound in there. This will work really nice for 
tones that aren't absolutely overflowing with gain as well. Try it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It will work with any of the cabs. You can even blend cabs if you like. And of course, play around with the relative level in there. I might actually just bring this ribbon mic down 3 dB relative to the dynamic. And as you can hear from my cat crying, means it's time to go. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.